You want to know how to turn your fire stick into a media machine? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's that time again. Guess what? We're going to give away another Fire Stick 4K to you. If you win it. Hey, what do you got to do to win it? Comment and like this video. It's that simple. In a week or so, I'm going to go ahead and draw the winner through a third party service. And who can win this? Well, you can. This is open to my UK friends because you've been so good to me my Australian friends, and Canadian, along with the U.S., of course. Make sure you give a thumbs up and comment. If you don't do both, you can't win. So pause the video and do it now so you don't forget. Hey, I'd like to take a moment to thank Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Why should you care about a Surfshark VPN? Now, VPN encrypts all the information sent from our computers and cell phones and, well, pretty much all devices connected to the Internet. So no one can steal our sensitive information, especially when using public Wi-Fi, like airports, coffee shops, and even hotels. Even if you're not using public Wi-Fi, it protects you from prying eyes from seeing what you're doing in your own home. For example, if you're into media, Surfshark is a helpful tool to get you even more media content that's not available in your area. All you have to do is change your location and you can get access to completely new content. If you don't have a VPN already, you probably need one. It's a low cost insurance policy and some great benefits. Now I recommend Surfshark because they have proven to be a leader in the industry and having no limits to how many devices you can have this installed on. Everybody in the household is covered. Plus, Surfshark was gracious enough to allow me to give you a special link below that has a coupon for 85% off plus three free months. There's no risk involved. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee. To get started, just click on the special link below and get protected. Everybody wonders about the Fire Stick 4K to find out does it have the power you need. Well, I tell you what, it's for the price of it, man, I, I don't, I can't see how you can go wrong. But, can you make it better? Absolutely. That's what we're going to do today. So, let's get to it and I'll show you what we're going to do. I tell you what, let's go ahead and unbox this stuff and let's get to it. And this, it's going to be, trying to be a short video for you. Just hang with me. Watch all the way through so you catch everything. Okay, what you have is you have your fire stick, you have your extender if you want it. But, let's go with this. We can open it. Okay. This is cool, all right. Okay, what this is, uh, the Ugreen 2.0 multifunctional hub. This thing works excellent. Okay, so you have three actual USB ports. Uh, this, we can hook up Ethernet on it. So, how would this work? Okay, I'm going to tell you. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and hook up the Ethernet. All right, so we have an Ethernet hooked up. You have this. Turn it around so it works actually. All right. Next, you're going to hook up your hub. The hub goes to there. Next, you're going to run your power in. Okay. This is your setup now. Okay. This is where you can do anything you want. Uh, you're going to have internet coming in. Okay. What we're going to do next is you, you look at this. There's your hard drive. Okay, so you can put a hard drive on here and you will see it through your fire stick because of this. And I will show you all this on, on screen and show you how it works. If you have like a keypad that needs a dongle, uh, this will work here. This is a great setup and let's go ahead and get to it and I'll show you how it works. Okay, uh, what we're going to need to do since we have it all hooked up, we do not have the Ethernet hooked up yet. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go through this and we'll do a real quick speed check. Um... Uh, and I'll show you how to get uh, into your new hard drive area and your USB area. So what you want to do, if I'm looking down, I'm looking at the screen. So what you want to do is go to your uh, 
magnifying glass and you want to start off with if you haven't already done this get ES oop there it is right there it's ES file explorer so you want to go down there grab that and there it is so we're going to go ahead and OK and we're going to download this dude so it's going to start processing it and it's in the queue it, it doesn't take much uh, download it's it's pretty quick as it's installing uh, having this program is so you can go into your uh, and your new hard drive area okay so we're all set there okay so now that we've downloaded it we'll open it here in just a second let's go ahead and uh, all right, let's go alright we're gonna go ahead and testing download and then it'll go ahead and test on upload which isn't bad and where I'm at it uh, and internet sucks at the moment um, but yeah we're looking at 17.3.564 let's hook up the ethernet directly to the router and see if we come up there okay what we need to do is go over to the settings and let's go ahead and go down into your network settings there that way we can show that we are connected with the ethernet and we'll go ahead and run it sometimes this mouse part of it <laughs> isn't the greatest but it works so not looking too bad we were what 17.4 on uh without the wireless and five something on the upload and I'm in a real congested time right now so well that's not too bad well see there is a difference um, it does seem to help and I kinda like it. it it's you always when you have a internet connection like that that directly in it's always gonna work better so now let's go and check on the uh, hard drive and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, now that you see that we get uh, we get everything hooked up, we check the speed on it. Let's go to the file and let's take a gander at uh, take gander. There it is. As you can see, it'll say it under SD card. Uh, now you can put a lot bigger uh, thumb drive or even an external hard drive. Uh, external hard drive has to be powered by itself uh, for it to work the best. So let's go ahead and go down here and go to the SD card. As you can see, I got stuff on it. Uh, let's go ahead and play something there. All right. Let's go to. This time only. Now this is just to kind of show you what you can do if you have it in Kodi, if you can, I mean this is 4K stuff and it's, it plays very well. Um, you know, because it's right there, it's on your hard drive, you can put a whole list of movies on there and watch it from there. So, or just, you know, use it as an Android box. I mean, this is what, why we're doing this is so you can get a little bit faster speeds, have your Fire Stick look like an Android box. So, yeah, it's uh, it works really good. Let me go ahead and get out of this. Get back home. And let's go back out. And I think you're going to like this. So I'll have everything in the comments, by the way, too. So that way you can get all this if you want it. And I've gotten the lowest best product. Uh, lowest cost best product for you. So you don't have to spend a fortune to get this stuff going. You see what I'm talking about, guys? Uh, this is it. This system really works well. And it's something that's, like I said, is very inexpensive. I have the links to everything below. You're not going to spend a lot of money doing this. You're going to like doing this because now you have a, you can put on a media server. You can put on, uh, you know, the, a cloud. You can hook up all kinds of stuff to this thing now that will help you if you have, you know, it just works. And... 
I hope you liked it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and I appreciate you guys sharing this uh, video with everybody you know and remember to subscribe uh, this is one of the things that we were trying to get our channel back up the way it was before we got hacked yes uh, my t-shirts are going on sale we own a new design I will show it to you next uh, next video uh, that's coming and we'll probably be giving some away so make sure you subscribe and get all the good stuff so until next time keep watching guys